Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular CD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, perpendicular CD length is uh, X units and moreover uh, this segment uh, AD length is 2 units and the segment uh, BD length is uh, 3 units and furthermore uh, this angle uh, ACB is uh, 45 degrees and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step uh, I'm going to label uh, this uh, side uh, AC as uh, lowercase uh, m and this side uh, BC as lowercase uh, n and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle ADC and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase m whereas uh, our two other legs are 2 and uh, x let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so therefore uh, we can write this thing as uh, x square plus uh, 2 square equals to m square and now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our lowercase m uh, turns out to be equal to square root of uh, x square plus 4 so thus our this uh, side length uh, ac which is being represented by lowercase m turns out to be square root of x square plus 4 and now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle bdc we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well and here is our Pythagorean theorem once again in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase n whereas our two other legs are uh, 3 and uh, x let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so we got uh, x square plus uh, 3 square equals to lowercase n square let's undo this square by taking a square root on uh, both uh, sides so therefore uh, our lowercase n value turns out to be square root of x square plus 9 so thus our side bc length turns out to be square root of x square plus 9 and now let's focus on this whole triangle abc and we are going to calculate the area of the triangle abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is uh, equal to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this given triangle our two side lengths are uh, a and b and c is the angle in between so therefore in our case our two side lengths are uh, a c and b c and the angle in between them is uh, 45 degrees so therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times the square root of uh, x square plus uh, 4 times the other side is uh, x square plus 9 times uh, sine of uh, angle is 45 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, sine of 45 degrees uh, we know sine of 45 degrees is always equal to square root of 2 divided by 2 as you can see in this next step I have replaced sine of 45 degrees by square root of 2 divided by 2 and now let's focus on these two radicals we can write this whole thing as square root of x square plus 4 times uh, x square plus uh, 9 and now if we multiply 1 divided by 2 and square root of 2 divided by 2 that is going to give us uh, square root of 2 divided by 4 and furthermore uh, if we multiply these two binomials that is going to give us uh, x power 4 plus 13 x square 
plus uh, 36 as you can see in this uh, next step so thus the area of the triangle uh, abc turns out to be square root of 2 divided by 4 times uh, the square root of x power 4 plus 13x square plus uh, 36 i'm going to label this one uh, as our equation uh, number one and uh, once again we are going to calculate the area of the triangle abc in a different way and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is equal to a half times the base times the height and this time the base of this triangle abc is uh, this whole uh, side which is uh, 2 plus 3 is going to give us uh, 5 and the height of this uh, triangle is uh, x so therefore the area of this triangle uh, abc is going to be a half uh, times uh, 5 uh, times uh, x so therefore this could be written as uh, 5x uh, divided by 2 and i'm going to label uh, this one as our equation number 2 and now we are going to compare uh, these uh, two equations we can see the left hand sides are identical so therefore we can equate uh, the right hand sides as well so therefore we can write uh, square root of 2 divided by 4 times the square root of uh, x power 4 plus uh, 13x uh, square plus uh, 36 uh, is going to be equal to 5x uh, divided by 2 and now we are going to square uh, both uh, sides by taking a square on both uh, sides so therefore on the left hand side uh, square root of uh, 2 is going to be 2 divided by 16 uh, times this whole thing is uh, x power 4 plus uh, 13x uh, square plus uh, 36 is going to be equal to 25x uh, square divided by 4 and now we can see 2 divided by 16 is same as uh, 1 divided by 8 as you can see in this uh, next step and now i am going to multiply by 8 uh, on both sides on the left uh, and on the right hand side uh, as well and here we can see 1 8th and 8 is gone so therefore uh, x power 4 plus uh, 13x uh, square uh, plus 36 uh, is going to be equal to if we simplify the right hand side uh, that is going to give us uh, 50 times uh, x square and now we are going to subtract 50 times x square on both sides this is gone so therefore on the left hand side we got uh, x power 4 uh, minus uh, 37 uh, x square plus uh, 36 uh, equal to 0 and now let's make a substitution i'm going to let uh, u equal to x uh, square so therefore our this uh, equation is going to become uh, simply u square minus uh, 37 u plus uh, 36 uh, is going to be equal to 0 and now we are going to solve this quadratic equation by grouping uh, and uh, factoring let's tweak uh, this uh, middle term negative 37 u could be written as a uh, negative uh, 36 u minus uh, 1 u as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see u is in common uh, between first two terms and here uh, we got negative 1 is common so therefore i can write uh, u times uh, u minus uh, 36 minus uh, 1 times uh, u minus uh, 36 uh, is going to be equal to 0 and here we can see u minus 36 in common so i can uh, write down u minus uh, 36 uh, times uh, u minus 1 equal to 0 and now we are going to separate uh, these two factors as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore for this first equation u value turns out to be 36 for second equation u value equals to 1 and now let's recall uh, where our substitution u equal to x square so i'm going to replace this uh, u by x square over here and likewise uh, u with the uh, x square 
over here as well. So therefore we got uh, x square equal to 36 and here uh, x square equals to 1 and now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root. So therefore uh, our x value is going to be positive uh, 6 and likewise I am going to take the square root on uh, this side uh, as well on both sides. So therefore uh, our x value is going to be positive 1. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two values uh, of x, x equal to positive 6 and x equal to positive 1. And now we are going to see which value of x is going to work for us. So therefore we are going to construct uh, this uh, right uh, triangle uh, APB. In other words, uh, this angle is our 90 degree angle. And I am going to label uh, this uh, height uh, PD as uh, lowercase uh, h. And now let's recall the Euclid's uh, theorem for this given uh, triangle. Uh, our height, uh, this perpendicular CD is uh, lowercase uh, h, whereas our these two segments are uh, x and y. Then we can write uh, h square equals to x times y. And in our case, uh, our x value is uh, 2, our y value is uh, 3, and our height uh, is uh, h. So therefore we can write uh, h square equals to x value is 2 times uh, y value is uh, 3. Let's undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our h value is going to be equal to square root of uh, 6. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, x uh, length is cd. And this uh, height h is uh, pd. So therefore x is going to be bigger than the height uh, h. And we know our height h uh, value is uh, square root of uh, 6. So therefore we can see x equal to 1 value is not feasible. So therefore we are going to reject this uh, x equal to 1 value. And we are going to accept uh, x equal to 6 value. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be positive 6 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.